I'm Janae Boran. Today, I'm going to answer the question which has been bothering me for a long time. Can steel beams float on water? Let's find out. It sinks. Wait, let me try. This time, I will play the game gently and uniformly using a tissue paper. It still floats, but how is this even possible? It even flows in at the floating point. You observe that no part of the steel point is actually immersed in water. In fact, the surface of the water is having a depression at the location of the pin due to its weight. So buoyant force plays no role here as no water is displaced by the floating object. The surface of the water is behaving just like a stretched membrane. Thus, by placing the pin uniformly and very gently on the water surface, the pressure due to the weight of the pin is drastically reduced and is not sufficient to rupture the water surface. Thus, the steel pin floats. What will happen if I put a drop of detergent into this beaker? It sinks. By washing clothes, the purpose of the detergent is to reduce the surface tension of water so that the molecules don't cling to each other and instead go deep into the fibers to clean the dirt. In this case, the drop of detergent ruptured the surface of water, thus making the needle sink. Thank you for watching. That's all for today. Wait, let me try again, but this time with a piece of tissue paper. Oops.